this demonstration we're going to look at configuring DHCP for IP version 6. I've come to my DHCP server, come into server manager, I'm going to come to tools and then I'm going to go to DHCP. Then what we'll do is maximize this up, expand up our server, expand up IP version 6 and what we can see at this point here we currently don't have a scope so we'll right click and what we'll do here is we'll create a new scope. Select our next button, we need to give it a name and option here description. I'm going to call mine headquarters IP version 6 and all we're going to do at this point here is we'll have the description as IPv6 for production network and specify next. Need to just fill out the prefix. Just going to have mine as FD00 all zeros and then slash 64 and select next. We will actually add some exclusions. I'm going to have this as FD00 and then colon colon all the way to the zero and end address will be zeros all the way to FF and we'll select that. Then we'll select next and that brings us into a scope lease. So what we'll do in the case of this little demo here, we'll just leave it as eight days and select next. Then what we'll do at this point is we will actually activate the scope as well and select finish. So now we've configured the scope, the next thing we'll do is we'll just close down our DHCP utility. We'll just go into the DNS record settings, so we'll go to DNS. And we'll just expand up our forward lookup zones and we'll expand up a datum. And within the datum, if we just have a look down here, what we can see is we've actually got LONDC1 does have a valid address from a previous demo. And we've also got LON Server 1 also has an address from a previous demo. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just create a DNS record for a web app server that we're going to have. So in the case of IP version 6, we create a new host, a or quadruple A record. Then what we need to do is just type in what we want this record to be used for. So I'll go for web app. And then all we need to do is enter our IP version 6 address. And what I'm actually going to do, if I just pull this across, I'll pull this down. What we can see is the IP address I've just entered there is actually the same IP address that we've got associated with this long DC box. So really all we're doing is we're creating two records pointing the same IP address. So I'll just add the host, I'll select OK, and then all we'll do is we'll just ping that web app record. So all we'll do is come into our PowerShell. And at this point here, all we'll do is we'll send a ping to our web app.adatum.com-6, hit the enter key, and as you can see, we'll get a reply back. And that's the end of this quick demonstration of looking at how to configure DHCP scope for IP version 6 and also how to configure a DNS record for IP version 6. Thank you.